Hey guys, how are you doing? Ready to hear another incredible story? Yes, we can't wait to listen to it. So switch on your antennas, and maybe your cameras too, as this time we will be learning about a remarkable photographer. Today we are learning about Letizia Battaglia. Who is Letizia Battaglia? Why do you need to know about her? Well, Letizia Battaglia was Italy's first female photographer to be employed by a daily paper. She was an extraordinary pioneer who was able to break all the rules of her time to follow her passion and make a life out of it. Calling out for her determination, courage, passion and high moral drive to do her part for her community. She was born on the 5th of March 1935 in Palermo, Sicily. Letizia had ambitions to write and she married at 16 to escape her jealous father and hoping her husband would allow her to continue her study, but instead he wanted her to be a conventional stay-at-home wife. Determined not to give up her dream, she took the courage to oppose this condition and she decided to divorce and move to Milan, intending to work as a writer while raising her daughters, a revolutionary figure for the time, both in thoughts and actions. She took up photography at the age of 37 after the Milanese newspapers to which she submitted her articles requested images to accompany the text. She then moved to Palermo along with the new partner Franco Zecchin to direct a photographic team for the newspaper Lora. At that time, in the 70s and 80s, Italy was crossing one of its darkest periods and the Sicilian Mafia, a criminal organization, was at its height. Their terrible activities quickly became the focus of Letizia's work. Letizia means joy, cheerfulness, enthusiasm, serenity. Battaglia means battle, conflict, war, confrontation. Her name perfectly represents her approach to life and the people around her. She has always looked for the truth and photographed reality as it appears, highlighting the impact and the emotion that comes with it. Letizia told Palermo's story, shooting both life and death. Walking down the alleyways of Palermo, she was struck by its story and magic. The statue of a Madonna, an image of Christ, the scent, a crooked window. Letizia loved Palermo and she felt the moral duty to document what was happening, to reveal the hidden world of the criminal organization and their victim. Her photography is mainly of the streets, where she could capture life and human condition from different angles. During that time, she sometimes found herself at the scene of four or five different murders in a single day. She used her camera to expose and condemn the Mafia and to show people crying on the street, children shocked by those violent scenes in order to frame the effect it had on the society. Entirely self-thought, Battaglia used black and white as a way to be more respectful towards the subject of her pictures and create a form of visual silence. Letizia also took portraits of Mafia bosses, looking in their eyes, almost challenging them. Her pictures were taken from up close, within arm's length, close enough to stroke someone, as she used to say. Once she actually got kicked by Leo Luca Bagarella on the day of his arrest. She tried to judge it, fell on the ground, but still managed to snap her shot. Anyone interfering with the Mafia has always been threatened with death. And of course, Letizia spent many years fearing assassination because of her photographical testimony. Even so, she bravely chose not to have bodyguards in 2017, she told the Guardian that you no longer knew who your friends or enemies were. In the morning, you came out of the house and did not know if you come back in the evening. Letizia didn't feel like photographing men, politicians, although there are some exceptions. She took instead many pictures of women using photography to support them in their eternal quest for a female affirmation in a male-dominated society. Many teenagers, 
skinny, straight hair, eye bags, serious. Self-portrait of the little girl she was, like the girl with the football who raises her arm almost as if to protect herself. Letizia was the recipient of several major awards throughout her long career, including the William Eugene Smith Grant for Humanistic Photography and the Cornell Kappa Infinity Award from the International Center of Photography. Kim Longinotto directed a documentary called Shooting Mafia, which is about Letizia and her work. He said the documentary aimed to dismantle the masculine narrative of the mafia power, depicted in films such as The Godfather or The Goodfellas, and instead tried to reveal the violence and brutality underneath it. Whoever holds the camera as a mean to which they can meet the world, either to love it or to denigrate it. Photography doesn't change the world, but like a good book, can be a flickering of light. And Letizia clearly shows us the power that lies in it and how it can be used. So tell me, how was it? Scary. All the stories about the Mafia and the assassinations made my circuits freeze. I wasn't scared at all. I think I would have done the same. Yeah, yeah, sure you would have because you are so brave. Hey, hey, guys, settle down. The truth is, her urgency to document this brutality and let everyone know about what was happening was stronger than her fear. I think the main messages we can take from her is to dare to follow your dreams, your instincts, and to take risks. Even if it seems everything and everyone around you is against you. Exactly. She had to face a lot of difficulties and prejudice as a woman living at that time, in order to become what she wanted. Once, she said, with my camera, I felt powerful and free. And to get that power and freedom, she summoned up her courage. As Thucydides, a famous Greek historian and philosopher said, the secret to happiness is freedom, and the secret of freedom is courage.